The following program is paid for by the friends and partners of Andrew Osakwe Ministries International. We are God, the sons of the most high. We are strong, we never defeated. We stand tall no matter the battle. We break loose the shackles of hell. We pray for, yeah, we pray for. is God's, is the king's domain, the king's dominion. On earth, the church is his primary agency for the activity of his kingdom. Say amen, somebody. Christ is one seed. Head and body are one seed. If you and Christ, you are part of that one seed. Welcome to Break Forth. A program designed to equip and empower believers, activating their full expression in Christ. Here is your host, Pastor Andy. Go with me to Hebrews 12, verse 22. Hebrews 12, verse 22. But you have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God. That's where you have come to. That's where we are. Glory be to Jesus. The heavenly Jerusalem. So there's an earthly Jerusalem, but there's a heavenly Jerusalem. To an innumerable company of angels, where we have come to, you have the angels of Zion. Hallelujah. An innumerable company of angels in Zion where we have come to. But you have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels. Next verse. To the general assembly and the church of the firstborn. Glory to God who are registered in heaven. To the general assembly and the church of the firstborn. We'll get to that soon. Praise the Lord. But I want to focus on this connection between the church of the firstborn and this innumerable company of angels. Hallelujah. You see, Zion is the headquarters of God's kingdom. Hallelujah. It's the headquarters of God's kingdom, which means it's the headquarters of all kingdom activity in the universe. Glory be to God. Are you with me? And then the church, the church is the primary agency and station for kingdom activity on the earth. You can't experience the kingdom on the earth in this new dispensation. According to the light of this dispensation outside the church. So sometimes people try to compare the church and the kingdom. They think it's two different messages. It's not. It's the same message. The kingdom of God is God's, is the king's domain, the king's dominion. On earth, the church is his primary agency for the activity of his kingdom. Say amen, somebody. Amen. So the church works in partnership with the Holy Spirit. We have a perfect union, a hypostatic union with the Holy Ghost. Say amen. amen. Glory be to God. So the church is important, which means that when it comes to angelic activity right now, the church 
is the primary interface for angelic activity right now. Praise the Lord. If you want to see angels in operation, find a true church. You will experience angelic ministry. Glory be to God. Are you with me here? So we have to understand this importance. Why the church is so important in God's plan. The primary portal for Zion's angels as they operate forth and back between earth and heaven. Notice I didn't say back and forth. I said forth and back. I'll explain. So the primary portal for Zion's angels as they operate forth and back between earth and heaven is what? The church. The primary portal. Genesis 28 verse 10. Genesis 28 verse 10. Jacob is running away from Esau because he has deceived their father and he has taken the blessing. Esau is not happy. So Jacob's mom, who is in our contemporary Nigerian society, would be referred to as a wuru-wuru mama. mama. Wuru -wuru. Hallelujah. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to show favoritism. You're not supposed to favor one child over the other child. You're not supposed to be partial. Praise the Lord. You're not supposed to, you know, just like this child. But this one, okay, it's my child. But this one, I like this child. You don't do that. That's what she did. Praise the Lord. Both parents messed up in this area. The father picked Esau. The mother picked Jacob. What a problem. You've started a fight, a civil war in your house. Praise the Lord. Are you with me? So parents have to be careful to watch it because there might be a tendency to just have this affection towards one child because of that child's personality that, that just seems to rub you the right way. You have to be careful. Praise the Lord. That's the truth. Amen? Glory to God. So, so the mom now noticed that Esau, Esau was not happy. And she knows Esau is a tough guy. Hallelujah. She knows Esau wouldn't have a problem killing this guy. So she organizes for an escape. Sends him, finds a reason and sends him off to go see her brother. Praise the Lord. To go stay with her brother. Says it's, it's because she doesn't want him to marry the locals, the women around town, because they're bad women. So I want him to go to, to our town and marry a correct wife. Amen. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's still happening now. Praise the Lord. So Jacob is on his way. He's running. And then he has an encounter with God. Verse 10, Jacob went out from Beersheba and went toward Haran. Next verse. So he came to a certain place and stayed there all night because the sun had set and he took one of the stones of that place and put it at his head and he lay down in that place to sleep. That's a hard pillow. Maybe that's why he had a dream that night. <laughs> Hallelujah. Maybe if you want to have a dream, go and bring a stone outside and... I'm not, that is not a correct doctrine. Amen? Don't use a stone and say, Pastor Andy said we should use stone when we want to have dreams. Amen? He, he put a stone and then he, he slept and had a dream. He lay down in that place to sleep. Next verse. Then he, he dreamed. And behold, a ladder went up on the earth. Notice that. He saw a ladder. He saw a ladder from the earth going up. God opened his eyes. He saw it. A ladder was set up on the earth and its top reached to heaven. So this is a portal. This is a, an opening between earth and heaven. And, they were, and, and, and there the angels of God were, notice, ascending and what? Descending. They were not descending and ascending, which means they were here. Amen? They're here. They're not really needed much in heaven. This is where the action is right now. Praise the Lord. 
So they were ascending and descending. In other words, something would happen on the earth. They would ascend as a result and then descend with the solutions. Next verse, watch this. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, your father, the, the God of Isaac, the land on which you lie, I will give to you and your descendants. Very interesting. Now, give me the uh, King James original version, King James. The Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of, your, of thy father and the God, go ahead, of Isaac, the land wherein you liest, thou liest, to thee I will give it to you and to thy seed. Someone say thy seed. Thy seed. Thy seed. That, that seed he's talking about is the same seed that was referenced with Abraham. So Abraham's seed was Isaac's seed. Are you with me? And Isaac's seed was Jacob's seed. And that seed went on from generation to generation until it arrived. Where? We'll get to that. The seed. Amen? Now go to the next verse. Verse 14. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth. Interesting. It says, one seed shall be as the dust of the earth. One seed. Praise the Lord. And thou shalt spread abroad to the west, to the east, to the north, the south, and in thee, and in thy seed. Notice how he's repeating the concept of the seed. In thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. In thy seed. And it was through this seed, I will bring my blessing in an unlimited dimension so that all can be blessed through this seed. Praise the Lord. Next verse. And behold, I am with thee. I will keep thee in all the places whither thou goest, where you go. That's the normal English. And will bring thee again into this land, for I will not leave thee until I have done all, I've done that which I have spoken to thee of. Next verse. And Jacob awaked. Okay, go back to New King James. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh -huh. And Jacob awoke. The reason I went to the King James was to show you the seed. When, when the uh, New King James says descendants, the original word is seed. And that's important. Amen? Then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place. I did not know it. Wow. Next verse. Now God opened his eyes. That's how he got to know it. The Lord was there. All that time, he didn't know it until God opened his eyes. Praise the Lord. May God open your eyes. Amen. And he was afraid and said, how awesome is this place? This is none other than the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. Stop right there. This is powerful, but there's a problem here. Because if that place where he was, where he put a stone and lay his head, if that place is the house of God and the gate of heaven, what are we doing here in Abuja? Yes, sir. Please, pack your load and let us find this place. <laughs> Glory to God. Are you with me here? Let us find this place because if this is the house of God and gate of heaven, we're in the wrong place. Oh. Because that place is not Abuja, it's not. Amen. So what's going on? He missed it. He missed it. Hallelujah. He got excited about what he saw and he made an assumption. He assumed that because he saw what he saw was based on, on that particular location. Hallelujah. But he didn't pay attention to what God said. Praise the Lord. God had kept on repeating one concept in thy seed, in thy seed, in thy seed, in thy seed. So God is letting him know what or where the house of God is and the gate of heaven. He's thinking it's that physical, geographical place. God is trying to tell him, in thy seed, in thy seed, in thy seed, that's where you find the house of God. That's where you find the gate of heaven, in thy seed. It was a reference to what? Thy seed. Are you still here with me? Glory be to God. So, we need to find out thy seed. Once we find thy seed, we have found the house of God, and we have found what? 
the gate of heaven. This, this is what God was trying to show Jacob. In your seed will be the house of God. In your seed will be the gate of heaven. And the angels will ascend and descend using Christ as a reference point. The 2019 Daily Impact Devotional by Dr. Andy Osakwe is designed to inspire, encourage, educate, equip, and impact your life. To read it, please go to www.dailyimpactdevotional.org. Praise the Lord. My name is Uga. Last Sunday, I woke up with a very terrible back pain, you know, without any attempt to embellish, but it was really painful, you know. So when I got to church, I sat up there, and then pastor called out for those who had pain in their body and asked us to lay our hands, which I did. I didn't feel any sensation anyway when I did, but when I got home, after a while, I realized that the pain was not there at all. Completely. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I actually looked for the pain and I spoke to my wife and my children. Uh, and, and, to help and, you find it. Yeah, to help me find the pain. I couldn't find it. Hallelujah. And then, and then just to share briefly again, sometime last year, um, I had like asthma attack, you know, breathing problems and all of that. So in the night, I had an encounter where pastor laid hands on me, touched my chest, you know, on a certain... In the dream. In the dream, yes. On a certain Saturday night. So Sunday I was in church. So while I was here, pastor actually called out for people who had asthma and all of that. So I came down, he actually touched me. Now, to the glory of God, I mean, I've not had that asthma attack again, you know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With our mobile app, you can do all of the following and more. Be a part of our services live. Listen to our 24 hours summit radio and access our daily devotional. Learn about upcoming events and programs. Access Pastor Andy's messages and books on the e-store. Pay and have it sent directly to you. Give your offerings, sow seeds, or redeem your pledges without any hitch. You can also link to all of our social media platforms or call the church office with just the tap of a button. You can now begin to enjoy the wonderful features of our own mobile application, Summit Bible Church, the platform for champions. Galatians 3 verse 16. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. So we're about to identify that seed. He did not say, and to seeds as of many, but as of one, and to your seed, then he identifies the seed, who is what? Christ. We found the seed. We found the seed. What is the seed? Christ. So where's the house of God? Christ. So where's the gate of heaven? Christ. So where's the place where you have the ladder, the potter? Between earth and heaven, where the angels, the angels ascend and descend. Where is there a free flow of angelic activity? Christ. Glory to God. But, all right. Are you guys with me so far? My God, my God. This is powerful. Amen. All right. So go with me to John chapter 1 verse 47. John chapter 1 verse 47. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom there's no deceit. Wow. Nathanael is amazed. How does this guy know me, man? How does this guy know my heart? This has been my pursuit to be a person of integrity with no deceit. How did he know? Next verse. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. From where I was, I saw you. Glory to God. Nathaniel is impressed. Next verse. Nathaniel answered and said to him, Rabbi. See, now he's calling him, he's hailing him because of what he has done. Rabbi. 
<laughs> if he was a Yoruba man, he was a Yoruba. Baba. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Rabbi. Glory to God. So, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the son of God. You must be the son of God. For you to see me where I was from here, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. It's going far. It's going far. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's going political now. <laughs> Glory to God. Next verse. Jesus answered and said to him, because I said I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? What? Listen, it says you will see greater things than what happened just now. Next verse, watch this. He said to him, most assuredly I say to you, hereafter you shall see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending upon where? The Son of Man, Christ. Upon the Christ. Do you see this? this? This is what God was trying to show Jacob. In your seed will be the house of God. In your seed will be the gate of heaven. And the angels will ascend and descend using Christ as a reference point. Glory to God. So what's he telling him? By implication, he's telling him what happened now was the result of angelic ministry. What does that mean? An angel whispered to him, Nathaniel is by the fig tree. Well, he says, guess what? You are going to see more of this. There's no account that Nathaniel ever saw, literally saw heaven open. So what was he talking about? They didn't see heaven open, but they saw their blind eyes opened. They saw the deaf start to hear. They saw the lame walk. They saw the crippled me straight. They saw the man with the withered hands and, and they saw the dead raised. They saw bread and fish multiplied. They saw him walking on water. They were seeing, they were seeing the activity, the result, the manifestation of angelic activity. That's what they saw. They were seeing the fulfillment of what he spoke about, which is the angels ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Glory to God. In other words, they're telling us most of the work you see of Jesus was a direct result of angelic ministry. The angels were always with him. And when it was time to be arrested, when they came to arrest him and he said, I am, the angels had to respond to the office of I am. And so when the, the soldiers moved forward, the angel had to knock him down and knock all of them down at the same time. Why? I am is here. And you are standing. You came to arrest I am. The angels were, would have gone for now. Because they were waiting for the opportunity all this time to just clear the whole bunch, man. So when, when he said, I am, they, they knew he didn't mean to clear the bunch, but they said, let us take it like he meant to clear this. Let's kill these guys. I'm tired of them. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah. Peter took out a knife and cut someone's ear. A, man, a guy called Malchus. Malchus lost his ear. Jesus picked up the ear and, and slapped it back. Praise the Lord. He said, Peter, take it easy, man. I don't need this. If I wanted to, at the snap of my fingers, 12 legion of angels. He's saying, all this time, how would you notice my activity? How would you notice that I'm not moving by myself? I have partners with me. And the same guys who have helped me all this time under the auspices of the Holy Spirit, the same guys that are here now, I can snap my finger. And all these guys are gone. They're goners. Praise the Lord. Do you see what's happening here? Because when Jesus was on the earth, he was the only Christ. The only Christ on earth was Jesus. Jesus the Christ. And then Jesus ascended as the head of Christ, but he left the body of Christ. Christ is one seed. 
head and body are one seed. If you are in Christ, you are part of that one seed. Are you getting this? Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Colossians 1.24. So even though Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father, his body is operational. Where? On the earth. The body of Christ. So Christ has a head and Christ has a body. Say amen. amen. If the head is the gate of heaven. What is the body? The gate of heaven. Amen? The gate was not removed. The gate remains. Your head and your body are one. Praise the Lord. So where is the portal for angelic activity? Point at yourself. And then point at everybody. It's the same thing. Praise the Lord. Colossians 1.24. I now rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill up in my flesh what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ for the sake of his body, which is what? The church, the same. So when you go to Hebrews and you read about the church of the firstborn, that's a reference to the body of Christ. That's the church of the firstborn, the body of Christ. And if the head is the gate of heaven and the house of God, then guess what? The body of Christ is the present tense, what? Seed of Abraham, house of God, and gate of heaven. Are you with me here? It's in the Bible law. I'm not making it up. Galatians 3.29. And if you are Christ's, that means if you're in Christ, that means if you belong to Christ, then you are what? Abraham's seed. Who are you? The church. Who are you? The body of Christ. You are what? Abraham's seed. And heirs according to the promise. Say it. Point yourself. Say, I am. I am. Abraham's seed. Abraham. You are. Abraham. You sure are. Are you still here with me? You are Abraham's seed. You are seed of Abraham. You are also the house of God. 1 Timothy 3.15. 1 Timothy 3.15. Glory to God. If I am delayed, I write so that you may know how you ought to conduct yourself. Where? Go ahead, next verse. In the house of God. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. You may know how you ought to conduct yourself. Where? In the house of God, which is what? The church of the living God, the house of God. So, so it's becoming clear now what God meant when he spoke to Jacob. He spoke about the seed. He spoke about the house of God. And he spoke about what? The gate of heaven. Praise the Lord. Hi, my name is Tobore Edo. I'm a member of the Summit Bible Church. I've been in Summit for 11 years, that's since 2007. It's been a big blessing. Um, one thing that I, I love here is um, God's Word. And um, just even finding out who we are in Christ Jesus is so much of a blessing to me. And I believe that the more we dig into God's Word, the more we find out who God says we are, and we're able to do the things that God has called us to do. Thank you for watching Break Forth. We believe that you've been blessed by today's message. For more information and resources, please go to www.andrewosakweministries.org. Your generous support helps us to take the gospel of the kingdom and our emphasis on the manifestation of the sons of God all over the world. To partner with Pastor Andy in this global assignment, please visit our website www.andrewosakweministries.org forward slash partnership. 
Do join us same time next week on this station for a fresh edition of Breakforth.